this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is the part 2 of our day trip to Hakone from Tokyo. If you haven't seen the part 1, check the i button or the link in the description box. After the Hakone sightseeing cruise, we disembarked in Togendaiko Station. From there, we took the Hakone Ropeway going to Owakudani. Hakone Ropeway The view from the ropeway is very mesmerizing. You can also see Mount Fuji from here. The Hakone Ropeway is already included in the Hakone Free Pass, so we didn't pay anything for it. Owakudani Owakudani is known as the Valley of Hell. It is the area around a crater created some 3,000 years ago from the last eruption of Mount Hakone. It is one of the most famous viewpoints of Hakone, where you can observe some intense volcanic activity up close. We enjoyed eating the kuro tamago or the black egg that was said to add 7 years of your life if you eat one. But beware because eating more than two will give you bad luck. <laughs> the eggs are normal chicken egg that are boiled in Owakudani's natural hot springs and the sulfur in the water turns the eggshell black. We also enjoyed eating the delicious vanilla ice cream with black food coloring. Our next stop is the Hakone Open Air Museum. From Awakudani Station, we took the Hakone Ropeway going to Sonzan Station. Then we took the Hakone Tazan cable car going to Gara Station. From Gora, we took the Hakone Tozan train going to Chokoku no Mori Station, the nearest station from the museum. Hakone Open Air Museum Hakone Open Air Museum is the first open air museum in Japan opened in 1969. It has collections of artworks made by Picasso, Henry Moore, Taro Okamoto, and many more, featuring over a thousand sculptures and work of arts. The ticket costs 1,400 yen per adult with the Hakone Free Pass. This is the last stop for our tour, but of course, Hakone trip won't be complete without going to onsen or hot spring. Hakone has been one of Japan's most popular hot spring resorts for centuries. For many people, onsen are one of the first thing that comes to mind when they think of Hakone. From the museum, we went back to Hakone Yumoto Station via the Hakone Tazan train. We then took the free shuttle bus going to Hakone Yurio, a traditionally styled countryside hot spring resort. The resort can be visited in a day trip. We stayed there for an hour and all the tiredness from the trip were totally gone. The best way to relax. With the Hakone Free Pass, an hour in the public bath costs 1,300 yen. We also bought a small towel for 250 yen. We used the towel and I think it's a nice souvenir. Okay. 
Station. Onsen experience unlocked. Tana ko siya taler. Ang hiwi. Na o yan tutoy. After the onsen, we took the free shuttle bus again, going back to Hakone Yumoto Station. We didn't take the Romans car anymore going back to Tokyo, so our trip back to Shinjuku is free with a Hakone free pass. We had a stop at Odawara station and ate dinner before going back to Shinjuku. That's all for our day trip to Hakone from Tokyo. My friends and I spent about 36,000 yen, including our food, so it's about 12,000 yen per person. <laughs> oh, Tanoshikatta des. Oh, happy birthday! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Day to you. Happy birthday. Say <laughs> that. Yun yun na sundi ba? Kaya nagtravel tayo. <laughs> happy birthday. Bye. Bye. Bye Japan. <laughs> Bye Japan. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have you been to Hakone or planning to go? Let me know in the comments. See you on my next vlog. Bye.